Hi, this is Nick from Square Kicker. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Square Kicker's position tools to move blocks and elements around your screen, creating unique layouts by overlapping blocks and positioning images, all without needing to write a single line of code. We'll look at how to move blocks vertically and horizontally, change the layer level to bring the block to the front when overlapping other blocks, and explain the difference between a block position tool and an image position tool on an image block. All right, let's get started. For this example, I'm going to use a text block and a spacer block. I'm gonna give the spacer block a background color and round off the corners to create a circle. It's important to note that by default, Squarespace automatically hides all spacer blocks on mobile. So this spacer block will be hidden on mobile devices. Another option you can use instead is an image block. Simply upload any image to an image block and instead of adding a background color, use Square Cooker to give the image a solid color overlay. I'll head back to the beginning of the menu and make sure I'm in the block settings and head to layout. Quick change to my blocks width and then down to the position tools. Use the vertical and horizontal sliders to move the block around the screen. If you want to move the block further than the sliders allow, you can type in the number you want to use or use the up and down arrow keys. You can hold down shift while you're using the arrow keys to increase or decrease in multiples of 10. Now that my block is in the right position, overlapping the text block, I want to bring the text block to the front. To do this, I'm gonna open up the text blocks layout settings and head right to the bottom to change the layer level. I want to change the number to anything higher than the image block's layer level. Since the image block is still on the default level, I can choose any number higher than zero to bring it to the front. As you can see here in this design, using the block position tools, you can build some very creative layouts. When using an image block, there will be times when you want to use the image position rather than the block position. I'll show you why in this example. First, I'm going to add a background color to this block and add a bit of spacing so you can see the difference between the block element and the image element. As I head to the beginning of the menu, I'm going to select image instead of block. I head to layout and then find the image position tools. When I move the position sliders, you can now see that I'm moving the image element inside the image block rather than the whole block itself. Sometimes you will want to move the block in its entirety but for designs like this, or other image block layouts such as cards, you may want to move elements inside of the image block, leaving the other elements of the block in the same place. Using the block position tools, you can also move blocks up so they overlap two different sections. When you use the block position tools, by default the blocks will move independently and not affect other blocks around them. However, if you move a block up and you want the below blocks to follow, switch on the tethered elements toggle. This means that the blocks below will be tethered to the block's vertical position. I'll show you how this works on the next block, but to illustrate this effect, I need to make sure this block is also switched on. Notice when I use the vertical block position, my block moves independently from everything else on the screen. But when I switch on the tethered elements, the text below moves up with the selected block's position. A really important tip to remember when using block position is to check how this looks on other size screens. All square kicker changes are cascading, meaning they flow down to smaller screens. So if you move the block left on a desktop, for example, you may want to reposition it on a mobile device so that it's not off your screen. Using square kicker's device toggle in the upper right hand corner, select a device and reposition your blocks for that size screen. This will change the settings for the selected device you are on and smaller screen sizes, meaning any changes to a tablet will also affect the mobile screens unless a specific mobile setting is also assigned, but these will not affect the desktop or laptop screen sizes. A recommended workflow tip is to do one block at a time, toggling through each device and make design changes per screen size.
incredibly powerful and fast. Square Kicker's position tools gives you the ability to create an unlimited amount of design layouts and full control for each size screen. If you need to set multiple blocks on your site with the same image position changes, try saving these settings as a preset to speed up your workflow. For more information, watch the Square Kicker preset tutorial. Now it's your turn. Square Kicker. No code, just design.